Uh. Oh, excuse me. So this one's been trending, the killers of the flower moon. Mm. But before we get to that, Al, I just want to ask you one question, one question only. Uh, what is the nastiest thing that you've ever had to eat or ever chosen to eat in your life? Oh, uh, I don't know. I've had snail. It's salty. Oh, uh-huh. it's just a unique thing. Like I mean, it's in France, and yeah, uh, uh-huh. I had some escargot. So, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Cack. That's Al. We're here to watch a trailer, and we're going to watch the crap out of it. And we hope that you enjoy us watching the crap out of it. This is The Killers of the Flower Moon. I believe that Leonardo DiCaprio might be in it. Uh, And that guy won one Oscars. Good job, Leo. (laughs) We thought you should have won more than one Oscar, but hey, the Academy sucks. You know what doesn't suck, though? Liking the video and subscribing to the channel. You should do it for Leonardo DiCaprio because Leonardo DiCaprio would do it for you. They found that Texas tea. Oh, it's going to be an apple. Oh, it's never getting watched then. Oh, Leo, what's up with that face, man? The Osage took their name from Missouri and Osage Rivers. All right, right quick. <laughs> I hate when people do this when they pause in the trailers, but it seems to me like Leonardo watched Brad Pitt in the Inglorious Bastards, <laughs> and was like, "How can I do that Aldo voice that he does?" I'm gonna say Osage <laughs> in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leo. Based on a true story. Well, you know it's good then. New Kanska. Children of the Middle Waters. Martin Scorsese, so he that man does not like comic books. <laughs> Robert De Niro. Huh. Oh, that's an awful haircut, many, Leo. So many hungry wolves. Can you find the wolves in this picture? <laughs> Ooh, we getting a murder mystery? Yes, sir. All right, I'm digging it. Oh, um, was that Brendan Fraser? I, I hate to. Oh God. <laughs> oh, there's a lot going on. Can you find? The wolves. Yeah, that's Brendan Fraser, right? Top left? Yeah. Yeah, I assume they're all wolves because we're going to find out that white people were bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that that breed of white people, I, I, I get, as a white person myself, when I see a picture of those kind of white people, my immediate assumption is at least half of them probably did something for blood money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that as, as a white man, <laughs> as as a white man, uh, which is, you know, not a common thing to be able to say. Like, right. We have to be able to stand up in opposition of our white brethren. Uh, Al, what did you think of the Killers of the Flower Moon teaser trailer starring Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, I, I think it's going to turn out like a very good movie. Um, I've heard the book is very good. Um, and so I'm ready to see. I haven't read it yet. But I want to read it. And it looks like it's going to be a great adaptation of that book. So even though Martin Scorsese, the guy who hates comic books, is uh, directing it. so Dude does not like comic books. Well, who was that guy then? I don't guess it was Brendan Fraser, but it kind of looked like him. But it doesn't look like it is. Otherwise, he would. I would assume his name would be listed in it. Um, let's see. So based on... Oops, sorry. Based on David Grant's broadly lauded best-selling book, Killers of the Flower Moon is set in 1920s Oklahoma. Oklahoma! Thanks to my watching of the HBO Max's Watchmen series, I've learned that Oklahoma has a very interesting past. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. 
and depicts the serial murders of members of the oil wealthy Osage Nation, a string of brutal crimes that came to be known as the Reign of Terror. Oh gosh. So yeah, I mean that that is what it is, right? It's they're going to be the white uh the white I assume bankers, right? Because that's what yeah. I don't like. Uh, I assume wealthy, wealthy whites from up north are coming in to try to take over uh, the rich inheritance that this Osage nation has, uh, and we're going to see a very horrible side of humanity. Awesome! <laughs> Can't um, wait. It is Brandon Fraser. Is it okay? They should put his name on the. Hey, Martin Scorsese, you jackass! Put Brandon <laughs> Fraser's name on thing. Put some respect on that name. That man is a treasure. All right, Al, continue. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I this is a kind of movie that I like to watch, like a kind of a historical um, murder mystery kind of movie. So, I mean, it's based on true events, so it's going to help bring light to things that have happened to the native people of this country before you know since white man has arrived yeah i I, i'll give martin scorsese crap because he said comic book movies aren't cinema but he's dumb i mean he's not wrong for all comic book movies but like you know you can't just broadly sweep things Uh, but i will say this it's always good to see something that looks and feels like this one it's a mystery two it's a representation of a historical event and I genuinely find interest in both those things. Yeah. Love me a good murder mystery. Uh, and if it's based on true stuff, well, hey, that gets me a little bit more interested, especially because I can either read the book or just learn about the stuff myself. And I'm sure there'll be some embellishment in all of it, and that's fine too. Uh, Martin Scorsese. Uh, but it, it is nice. It is nice to see. And I like Leo, man. Leo, Leo rarely does a movie that I just find... A god awful train wreck, and I've even watched him in that weird early two thousands modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet, where their swords were guns and their, <laughs> and their horses were cars. Uh, and, and for as dumb as that was, it wasn't awful. And because Leo's in it, and Leo's good. I even like Shutter Island. I think some people don't like Shutter Island. I love me some Shutter Island. But you know what? If Leo hadn't been in it. I would have hated Shutter Island. It would have been boring as all hell. <laughs> would not have been good. Uh, Al, you going to give this trailer a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up for me, too. And that's just m- maybe my white guilt talking. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, I hate that it's on Apple. That's probably my biggest complaint is that it's going to be on Apple TV. I, but, but it's going to be in theaters. In theaters October 6th. <sighs> but I'm not going to watch it in theaters. <laughs> uh october 6th i mean maybe maybe it just depends it depends that's a weird that's a weird placement for it i feel like unless it shares a historical connotation because that's outside of the that's outside of the normal box uh, like the big blockbuster window uh that's a weird that feels like a weird time to do it october is usually like horror movies right yeah that's it's not gonna have competition in that window so maybe Smash that's the what they're going for. And if so, cool. Uh, on October 27th, Five Nights at Freddy's coming out. And I'm going to watch the crap out of that <laughs> on Peacock. Peacock. <laughs> <laughs>